Good morning from Florence. We are in Florence, guys. We're off to a great morning with some pastries. Because, like, how else would we start our morning? Maybe some gelato? <laughs> <laughs> we said no to the gelato, yes to the pastry. We got donuts and croissants and macaroons instead. This is the best donut I've ever had. Oh, that's quite the line. Let's go get in it. raining on our day in Florence, but that's okay because some nice man sold us this umbrella for five euro, probably worth about 50 cents. We're standing in line here waiting to go inside the Florence Cathedral. This thing is amazing. It looks so different than any cathedral we've ever seen. That's because it's made like entirely out of white and green and pink marble instead of like brick or other kinds of rocks. It looks incredible. Everyone's umbrellas are popping up. I'm very certain mine will too, so I'm directing it towards the wind. Yeah, Shell had a bad experience when we were in New York City a couple <laughs> years ago. We had some umbrellas and hers just was getting destroyed by the wind, so. It was so bad. Whenever the wind starts blowing here, she gets so nervous. She's going to ruin our, our nice umbrella from Florence that we want to keep forever. We just donated some money to a lady, and she blessed our family. So, family, consider yourselves blessed. shocked when we got in here. The line was so long outside, but when we got in, there's like not very many people in here, and it's probably just because this place is so big. <laughs> it's still raining here. We did get to see the inside of that cathedral. It was pretty grand and amazing. Very grand. Ooh. We grabbed a little bit of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're in this large square where they actually have a replica oh. of the Statue of David, which was made by Michelangelo. The replica Michelangelo. was not made by Michelangelo. The original was made by Michelangelo. But this replica is here outdoors in this square. So we're gonna go take a look at that. We found David, he's over there. <laughs> I think the statue is actually 12 feet tall. It's a really big statue. And if anyone doesn't know the story, it's David from the Bible story, David and Goliath. And he's actually holding a sling in his left hand. He has a rock in his right hand. And he's turning towards Goliath, ready to sling that rock. Did you know that story, babe? It's really pouring right now. I know. It's like, I know, you guys probably can't tell, but it's like really coming down. And we just have this cheap little puny <laughs> umbrella that we bought on the street. Check the square out. I don't know why it's all blocked off. I we cannot either. get closer. They must have some sort of event here in this building where the David's in front of. Thank you. 
train's lightening up. We're at the Ponte Vecchio, I think that's how you say it. This bridge here that has a bunch of shops and restaurants on it. Really, really picturesque, right over the Arno River. Keep like, keep looking out that way. She likes to take pics of me talking to the camera. That was perfect because the rain stopped just so we could take some photos <laughs> and now it's like pouring again. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's definitely been a struggle today videoing in the rain. I and get so mad rain. when rain gets on the lens because I feel like <laughs> it ruins my shots. That's why he's always going <laughs> in all the shots. Uh, I think we're going to go try to find a second umbrella because the single umbrella, not oh, wow. working out too good. All right, we're going to go single file here along the river and try to find a second umbrella. <laughs> Guys, we got some real umbrellas. Yeah, they even have the cool little handle too. Turns out our hotel has them for free. So we went back there, <laughs> changed it to some drier clothes. At least I did. Yeah, I just put my hair out of my face because it was like looking like a wet dog. Now at least we'll be able to stay out of the rain. So this is very, very good. got to be a little too much rain for us so we took some cover under this building because even with our umbrellas like I am soaked Me too. from my thighs down to my feet so is she <laughs> but guess what when it started pouring the squares cleared like there's nobody out in those squares and Shell was out there prancing around with her umbrella and I got the camera and started snapping photos <laughs> So we have these awesome photos of her out in the rain with her umbrella dancing around and there's not a single other person in them and she's right in front of the cathedral here in Florence. Like how epic is that? Probably gonna be some of the favorite photos from the trip. The only bummer is I'm not in them. <laughs> I know, I wanna tripod it, but I don't, I'm a little bit nervous to have my camera take on this much rain. There's a lot of water. I'm okay with a little bit of rain, but this is kind of a bit much. <laughs> I can't wait to see how those photos turn out. So we're standing here, waiting it out, just staring up at the huge dome on the cathedral. Our feet are sloshing around. Honestly, couldn't be in a better spot right now. The sun's starting to poke out up there, but it's still just pouring. The trees here are just prime for puddling. Every little stone has like a huge puddle in it. We found out that to get up onto the dome of the cathedral, it's actually sold out. We should have looked way further in advance, but honestly, we just couldn't think of everything. So instead of that, we're actually gonna go to the top of the bell tower. And we can see the dome from the tower, as well as get a cool view of the city, which we haven't really gotten yet. Hopefully so, it doesn't start pouring on us again. I know, it stopped raining. Hopefully this stays like this for us to get up there and hang out for a bit. But uh, we're really excited about these 450-something stairs. Really excited. Because we did not get enough stairs yesterday. in progress. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's this bird cage surrounding the entire top of the bell tower. So getting cool photos up here might be harder than we were hoping, but we're gonna do our best.
figure out the best way to look through the fence. Wow, it really is like such a difference. Just put your face right up to it. Am I right? And you can enjoy it without the fence. We just hiked to the top of that. That was a lot of steps. 456, I think. 456 steps. They're so tiny and uneven, like your foot doesn't even fit on them. And the stairwell was so narrow, and it was the only way up and only way down. So we're literally like smashed against the wall the whole way up and whole way down. Correction, Daniel just looked at the brochure, and we have no idea how many steps there are. I don't know where 456 came from. It's 450, 460, somewhere. <laughs> Let's go with 460. <laughs> You know what, we're just gonna round it out at an even 500. How does that sound? <laughs> an even 500. <laughs> We haven't even had dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have not even had dinner yet. Which is probably gonna be pasta, let's be honest. <laughs> the guy who took our order in that Vinci place. Yeah, um, shout out to him, he was awesome. If he watches this, thank you very much for taking our order. <laughs> Hopefully he does. <laughs> this looks amazing. But he was the nicest guy and uh, he saw our camera and he's like, are you guys vlogging? And we're like, well, like, yeah. <laughs> He's the only person so far in Europe who's used that word. Well, that I think even realized like what we're doing. I think most people think we're crazy because we have a huge microphone on the top of our camera. <laughs> but he uh, he brought a piece of paper over and asked for our username. He wants to watch us. We thought it was the coolest thing. Guys, we're closing in on another wonderful evening here in Florence. And what a beautiful <laughs> day and evening it has been. Despite the rain, it's honestly been a lot of fun. Yeah, we were able to see a lot of stuff. Even though it has been raining, his umbrellas have been money. We've been able to go see a lot of the site. Yeah, thanks hotel for giving us these umbrellas. The one we purchased the beginning of the day. It broke. <laughs> it, it broke. They have a three hour lifespan. Yeah. Those ones, they don't last very long. So we were grateful that our hotel provided umbrellas for us so that we could stay somewhat dry. Our feet are both sopping wet, but we don't so. even care because we just had a great day and the view from the top of that bell tower was absolutely gorgeous, even through the little birdcage thing we were <laughs> in. I was able to take the GoPro out of its case and everything and stick the lens right out of the cage and pretty much get video like there's nothing in front of us, so. Yeah, that works out really nice. Yeah, we're excited GoPro, about thank that. You for making a small camera <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I cannot wait to see the photos I took of Shell dancing in the rain uh? with her umbrella in front of the cathedral all by herself what an awesome experience I that was, was totally alone when it starts to rain everybody like gets up against the buildings to take cover to wait for it to kind of like let up and blow over but when it was pouring I just went out and danced in the middle and it was great <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching we have another full day here in Florence tomorrow so make sure that you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already we seriously can't thank you guys all enough. We hope you guys know how much we love you because we can feel the love from you. Make sure you check out our Instagram, oh, yeah. at Dan and Shell. <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Bye.